Well, this is different. This is an all-electric scooter from Zupa. Actually, technically, it's a moped, and I'll explain what that means in a sec. First, let's talk price and range, and one of these brand new will set you back five and a half grand. Now, that's less than a high-end e-bike, but with this, you get 60 k's out of a charge, and apparently, it's really zippy. But is it faster than taking a car in Auckland's rush hour? Let's find out. All right, and we are off, and I'm on the Zupa, and today's destination is the Ecotricity offices in Auckland Central. Gosh, this thing's quiet. Okay, so that's a distance of about 9.6 kilometers. Now, in a car, I've done this journey from Onehanga to Auckland Central many times, and generally in rush hour, it can take anywhere from, well, 25 minutes to perhaps, i say 45 minutes in the worst case scenario. So can we beat that? on this all-electric Zupa. Ooh, still getting the hang of it right now, so I'm mildly nervous, but we'll get there. All right, and we're off. Gosh, the acceleration's pretty good in this thing. Unexpectedly so. Far oh, route, this thing moves. All right, I keep thinking that I'm on an e-bike, so I keep wanting to pull over, but this thing's keeping up with the traffic. Far oh, out. So technically, this is a moped which means that I can drive this on a car license because I don't have a motorbike license. I've just got a car license like many Kiwis. So, oh my word. Okay, we're going through the Royal Oak Roundabout. This is a baptism by fire here. Oh, crikey. <laughs> okay, let's see how good the torque is on this thing. Oh, and we're off. Oh, look at this thing. Turn on my indicators. It's got indicators on the left and the right. The thing is, this is a moped, which means legally it's limited to 50 k's an hour. And I was a little worried that that might be a problem, but honestly, so far it hasn't been. And if I can supposedly go faster than Auckland traffic, well, it seems like a cheat code's on life. The thing is, I've ridden some scooters in the past, and they've always been, well, they've been kind of tragic. You know, you try and leave an intersection, and it's wailing, and it's sluggish. This thing is like nothing I've ever ridden. Honestly, it's, it, it blows my mind. Like, you saw me going out of the Royal Oak Roundabout. It just takes off. I just realized I've got a goofy grin on my face. That's a legit grin. Gosh, this thing rides smooth as well. I know, admittedly, I'm on a nice smooth piece of tarmac right now, but I'm blown away how comfortable this is. Uh, and that part of the reason for that is it's relatively heavy. Like, unlike an e-bike, which is, you know, 25 kilograms, this is 96 kilos, so it's got some weight behind it. <gasps> Look at this. We're using the T3 lanes. Look at all the cars I'm going past. Oh, I love this, man. We're legally allowed to use the T3 lanes on these mopeds. Also, the bus lanes, unless it states otherwise. <laughs> this is cheating. I love it. One thing that blows me away is how easy this thing was to get on. It's been a lot of time since I've driven any motorbikes or anything, so I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be a bit cumbersome. But I'll see, see, check that guy out. He's lane splitting, which I think is illegal. No, wait. No, lane splitting's legal, I think, but only if the cars are stopped, I think. But I'm a novice. I'm not going to try lane splitting yet. You know, I don't feel as vulnerable as I thought I would. Like, on an e-bike, I feel much more vulnerable. I don't know why. If it's because this is slightly heavier or it's because I've got more weight behind me, or it feels more stable than an e-bike. There was no learning process for me to get on. Like, when you saw me start recording, that was the first time I've ever ridden one, and it's easy. Okay, so Martin, the guy that runs Zupa, he's given me the all clear to go up on the left-hand side, so I assume it's legal. <laughs> the buses would be stuck in this lane. All the cars, the other cars, we can't pass them. We'll see you guys. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, Tesla. Yeah, all of a sudden, I suddenly want a lot more bus lanes and transit lanes, because then <laughs> I could use them. Ah, there's a scooter. Oh, look, he's running on combustion. Yuck. Okay, we're going to do some lane splitting. This is the first time in my life I've ever done lane splitting. Oh my god. Actually, it's relatively stable. As long as the cars aren't moving, it's not scary. Hey, look at this. I feel like I'm in a bike gang now. Or an episode of Chips. Now, that's showing my age. I wonder if I'm annoying the Ute drivers. <laughs> At the moment, this part, we're not really going any faster than the cars. I mean, we've, we've lane split, we've gone past a bunch, but right now we're just sort of stuck with the combustion vehicles. You can hear that rattly old diesel pumping out cancer fumes behind me. But soon we'll be in bus lane territory. <laughs> Thanks, mate, you're a good liar. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it should be out in a week or so. Thanks, mate. 
someone that sees my videos. I feel bad now, mate. I was making fun of your diesel vehicle. I take it back. <laughs> Ooh, we're lane splitting now. Oh, look at this. Oh man, the fumes. Oh, it's one thing you forget about when you're sealed in a car, you forget about the fumes. Oh, oh, off we go. Look at this. In the matrix, cheat codes. <laughs> I love this, man. Some of the e-bike videos I've done, they've been a mixed bag. Some have been awesome. Like recently, I did a review of some Valkyrie e-bikes. They're real cool looking things. Uh, and they turned a lot of heads. That was some of the most fun e-bikes I've done. But nothing, nothing feels quite as liberating as this out of all the two-wheel vehicles I've driven. Okay, so the vehicles have got two speed settings. There's a 50k an hour speed setting, which is normal because you're limited. Being a moped, you're limited to 50 k's an hour. But then you've got a 30k an hour speed setting as well. So that's handy if you want to be in Auckland City where the speed limit is 30 k's an hour. Not that anyone does that, but you've got the option there. Now, as I mentioned, oh, we're off. Total weight is 96 kilos. So coupled with the suspension system, it rides suspiciously well. Oh man, this is wicked. Like a lot of mopeds I've heard, they tend to have top speeds of about 47 k's an hour, which can be a little bit frustrating, especially for vehicle drivers behind you. But this one, this does a really healthy 50. Really, really happy with this, because you don't feel like you're going to be holding people up. And, you know, considering how self-loathing I am, I'd feel really guilty if I had vehicles lined up behind me. Oh, look at this. Look, traffic stopping. Well, we're not. Oh man. I'm having trouble using words to convey how good this feels right now. To go past all the people and all the cars, like some very upmarket machines around here, but none of them are as fast as this. But honestly, we're faster than a bus. We're faster than a car. The only thing faster than this to get into the city, I think is possibly a helicopter. <laughs> Tesla, thank you for driving electric, sir. Martin, this is brilliant, man. <laughs> it's just, just, I feel like we've got the cheat codes, you know, like we're going through the match. All the cars were going past, the buses were going past. Thank you. It's actually really easy to operate. I thought it was going to be a little challenging, but now I've slotted straight into it. As for charging this thing, a full charge will take about six hours. That's from flat to full. That'll give you that 60 k's of range. Now that means that if you get into the office with a flat charge, you can either plug the bike in, you don't need a special charger, or you can just lift up the seat and you can take the battery out and that's handy if you can't fit the, the machine into your lift. This produces no emissions, so you could even drive this into the elevator, take it up to your desk and charge it alongside your desk. And a lot of people who have e-bikes at Ecotricity, we do that. Just take our e-bikes and take them upstairs, plug them in. Within six hours, by the time it's ready to go home, you've got another 60 k's of range, which is perfect if you're commuting from Mercer. Obviously, I don't know how you'd handle the motorway. Don't take this on the motorway, obviously. But in the city, this is faster than a Lamborghini in Auckland City. Seriously. There you go. Right. The two wheels is liberating, man. <laughs> I know a few of you. <laughs> oh, God, really? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've met another person that's seen my terrible videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this thing, man. Like, I've done a few e-bike videos, and they've always been fun, but this is like on another level. All right, and we're off. The torque on this thing's insane. <laughs> As for motor output, this has a three kilowatt motor driving the rear wheels. And as you've seen, the torque is insane. It gets up and goes faster than any combustion moped or combustion scooter that I've been on. I've done some work on combustion scooters. Ridden those in the past, like when I went to Italy once. They're sluggish, they're lethargic, the noise and the smell. This is just 10 times better. As for stopping power, as you saw, it stops well. It's got disc brakes on both the front and the rear wheels. It's got front and rear suspension as well. And the best thing about it, because it's a moped, let me indicate. Oh. Wrong button. I think I just pressed the horn. <laughs> the horn works because it's a moped. You can operate this on a car license and it doesn't need warrant of fitnesses, which is brilliant. That's more cost reduced. In fact, registration is all you pay for. It's $168 for one year of registration. And that's less than you pay for one Dua Lipa concert. And as you heard with the horn, Dua Lipa admittedly does have more vocal range than this, but cost wise, you can't lose on this thing, man. You don't even have to pay for parking a lot of the time because you can fit this just about anywhere. You can take this into the office. Like other than the risk of permanent dismemberment, I'm not seeing any downsides. Oh, the smell from that bus is horrific. There's a reason they call it diesel. Honestly, the loudest thing in this bike right now is just the diesel vehicles around me. There's no noise. There's no vibration. The suspension's nice as well. The seat's comfortable. Brilliant. I'm, tr I'm really struggling to see any downsides, eh? It's got plenty of storage on the back there. Like, you can fit a decent amount of potatoes in the back so you can take your briefcase into work. Okay, I found a downside. Admittedly, this is probably a fair weather vehicle. So if it's hosing down, I wouldn't take this into the city. I'd probably still take a car or a bus or a train or something. For every other day, this beats public transport. This beats owning a car. And I'm a car guy. You've seen my videos. You know I love cars. But I don't like traffic. 
and Auckland is not a fast city to get around in in rush hour. Ooh, Jaguar I-Pace, nice. One good thing about Auckland is that you know, people have a little bit more money here, so you get to see a lot of interesting electric cars when you're out and about. And if you're a car fan like I am, you do a bit of car spotting while you're out and about. And there's no better way to see car spotting than on a moped. Brilliant. I can't believe we're already in Newmarket. Like if I was in a car, I'd still be somewhere back down in Greenwood's corner by now. <laughs> so even on that torrentially bad, oh, even on some of that horrifically bad Auckland roads, it's still, uh, like, see, my camera got knocked out, but I didn't. Woo, look at that. 48K is now easy. It feels so stable as well. I wish I'd done this ages ago. You know, the thing is, I have to admit that quite often when I do electric vehicle reviews, I tend to fall in love with the vehicles far too easily, and I want to take them home, but I've never wanted one quite like I've wanted this. I feel like I'm in Italy. And that's the thing, the bike, visually, it does look a lot like a traditional Vespa. Unlike a Vespa, it's cheap. It's like I had a look on Vespa's website, because their Vespas are really cool looking machines, but I couldn't find anything as affordable as this. Plus with the Vespas, all I could find was combustion only, which means you've got servicing and belts and spark plugs and all that combustion junk to fix and service and maintain. Electric motors have got one moving part. And look at this going possible. I love this thing, but I fear that if I owned one, I'd probably become obnoxious <laughs> because this is great. Look at all the cars I'm going past. It is remarkably navigatable. Navigatable? Navigable. What's the word? Maneuverable, that's the word I'm looking for. This is fantastic. And at no point has the 50 km an hour speed limit on this vehicle been any problem whatsoever. I've overtaken everything. I know I'm using a lot of superlatives here, but it is just brilliant. It's faster than a, a, an e-bike. It's faster than a car. It's faster than a bus. And the acceleration is superb. Like it leaves combustion scooters in the dust, quietly. Okay, I found another downside, is that in a car you're kind of cocooned from all the uh, the fumes from combustion vehicles, but here you do breathe them in. There we are, we're turning left, indicate here. I'm going to do a hairpin turn. Use my stabilizer called a foot. Can it handle the hills okay? It's a good steep Auckland hill. Let's give it a go. Oh, easy. Look at that. I tried to ride a, uh, a scooter up here once, it was a really great scooter, like that, but doesn't have the power of this thing. And here we are. We're here. This is it. Easy as that, man. That was wicked. Normally this car park is an absolute hassle, but right now, it's just so easy. And now that I'm in the office, I'm going to take the battery out, take it up to my desk, plug it in and charge it. And the best thing is that it only costs about 80 cents to charge this thing up. And even better, because it's running on ecotricity electricity, the journey will be climate positive. That's because ecotricity electricity is New Zealand's only certified climate positive electricity provider. So every single electron they provide is from wind, hydro, solar, nothing else. So you can also save a bit of money because Ecotricity's rates are really affordable. Head to ecotricity.co.nz, sign up today. You won't regret it. Let's go plug this thing in and then I'll tell you how great it was. And that's it. That is the Zupa scooter. And I gotta say I'm hooked. I mean, you saw the look on my face going past all those cars, all those buses, lane splitting, overtaking e-bikes. Like seriously, I'm struggling to find any downsides. It took us half the time of taking a car and yet it costs nothing. I'm in love with this thing. All I can suggest is that if you live in Wellington or Christchurch or Auckland or any city in New Zealand, give one of these a try. They're so easy to operate. And I, I'm, I know I say this a lot, but I mean it this time. I really, really want one of these things. <laughs>